Hello my dear students, how are you today? I hope that you are good. Today we are going to answer the questions on workbook. So, open your workbook page 51. Open your workbook page 51. Today is Sunday. The date is 19th of April 2020. Write the day and the date on your book. And now let's start. Let's read this box. Remember, تذكر, adverbs of degree. Some adverbs describe adjectives or other adverbs and tell how much to what degree about the adjective. As we said, زي ما حكينا يا سابع بإنه ظروف الدرجة توصف الصفات أو الأفعال أو الظروف الأخرى. Describe means تصف. وحكينا بإنه الوظيفة الوحيدة لظروف الدرجة هي إنها بتحدد لي وبتبين لي درجة الصفة الموجودة عندي. بتحدد لي درجة الصفة الموجودة عندي. Okay. Some examples of these types of adverbs are barely, sort of, or kind of, fairly, somewhat, rather, really, so, extremely, tremendously, completely, too, and very. Those are some adverbs of degree. Those are some adverbs of degree. Here we have three new adverbs. Here we have Three new adverbs, which are fairly, rather, and tremendously. هون يا سابع عندي ثلاث ظروف جديدة اللي هم fairly, rather, and tremendously. Fairly means تماما. And it comes before adjectives and before verbs. Fairly تيجي قبل الصفات وقبل الأفعال. Rather means إلى أبعد حد. And it comes before adjectives. Rather comes before adjectives. تيجي قبل الصفات. And tremendously means بشكل هائل أو للغاية أو جدا. And it comes before adjectives. Tremendously comes before adjectives. تيجي قبل الصفات. Here sort of has the same meaning of kind of. Sort of or kind of ilham nafs il ma'na. They have the same meaning. Ma'nahom nawan ma. Now move to question number one. Let's read the question. Unscramble it. All the words to the sentences are there, but they are mixed up. Put the words into the correct order. In this question, we have four sentences. In this question, we have four sentences. These sentences are mixed up. بهذا السؤال الجمل الموجودين عندي هم مخربطين يا سابع. They are mixed up. So we have to rearrange them and write them on the lines. بدنا نعيد ترتيبهم ونكتبهم على السطر. As you know. The sentence in English has to start with a subject, then a verb. After that, you complete the sentence. زي ما بتعرفوا يا سابع بإنه الجملة باللغة الإنجليزية لازم تبدأ بـ subject اللي هو الفاعل, then a verb, بعدين فعل, and after that you complete the sentence. وبعدين أنت بتكمل الجملة. Now let's look at the first sentence. We have can, game, cricket, be, tremendously, a, uh, enjoyable. The first thing that you have to do is to look for the subject. You have to look for the subject. لازم أول إشي تعملوا يا السابع هو إنكم تدوروا على الفاعل. Where is the subject in this sentence? Where is the subject? In this sentence, what are we talking about? الفاعل دائما يا سابع هو الإشي اللي إحنا بنحكي عنه بالجملة الإشي الأساسي اللي بنحكي عنه بالجملة. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the cricket. So cricket is the subject. Cricket عندي هي الفاعل. Cricket means لعبة. الكرة والمضرب. 
We are talking about the cricket. Now we have to look for the verb. هلا بدنا نبحث عن الفعل. Where is the verb? The verb is can be. Can be. So we will write can be. So the subject is cricket. The verb is can be. Okay, now we will write a. Cricket can be a. هلا يا سابع بدنا نكتب نوع الكلمات اللي ضلت عندي لحتى أكمل ترتيب الجملة بطريقة صحيحة. Game is a noun. نكتب فوقها the letter n حتى نعرف إنها اسم. Tremendously is an adverb. هي ظرف. نكتب adverb. Enjoyable is an adjective. Enjoyable هي صفة. Now I have to ask myself. أنا دي أسأل حالي. Tremendously comes before verbs or before adjectives. حكينا بإنه tremendously comes before verbs or before adjectives. هي بتيجي قبل الأفعال ولا قبل الصفات. It comes before adjectives. So I will write tremendously now. Then I will write the adjective. معناها هلا بكتب tremendously. بعدها بكتب enjoyable. لأنه الأدverb حكينا قبل الصفة. وهلا ما ضل عندي إلا game. So I will write game here. إحنا بنعرف بإنه tremendously comes before adjectives. إنها بتأتي قبل الصفات. والصفات دائما بيجوا قبل الأسماء فهيك بعرف إنه جملتي صحيحة So I will write game now The sentence becomes Cricket can be a tremendously enjoyable game لعبة الكرة والمضرب ممكن إنها تكون لعبة ممتعة للغاية Now let's move to the second sentence. We will do the same thing. رح نعمل نفس الاشي. The first thing that you have to do is to look for the subject. Where is the subject in this sentence? The subject is suing. The subject is suing. We are talking about the suing. احنا بنحكي عن suing. Suing means الخياطة. Right, sewing now. The subject is sewing, and now we will write is sewing is. الخياطة هي. وزي ما حكيت لكم يا سابع يا ريت نكتب نوع الكلمات اللي ضلت عندي لحتى أكمل ترتيب الجملة بطريقة صحيحة. Rather is an adverb. Activity is a noun. Useful is an adjective. Now I ask myself, rather comes before adjectives or before verbs. بس الحالي rather تيجي قبل الصفات ولا قبل الأفعال. Rather comes before adjectives. هي بتيجي قبل الصفات. So I will write rather then. I will write the adjective. And where is the adjective? The adjective is useful. I will write rather useful. حكينا يا سابع بإنه rather تيجي قبل الصفات. Rather useful. And now we will write the noun, which is activity. Write activity here. And the sentence becomes Sewing is a rather useful activity. الخياطة هو نشاط مفيد إلى أبعد حد.